Hey, ooh, what's happening? Woo. We up in here. Ah. Okay, so I'm Daniel. That's Anthony. Big body ant man. This is real comic book talk. We're going to talk about this now. This man has something to say. He has something to say. He's got an opinion that needs to be heard. Let people know. It's actually a fact. All right, oh, so ooh, we go. Ooh, go for this. Uh, let it okay, go. so. We all know that DC reboots their entire comic universe every, what, seems like 12 years or something like that. Let's just say average 12 years. Whatever. They reboot. They reboot it several times. They keep interest, new, try to get new fans. They also, they messed up sometimes when they did it. They done it really well sometimes when they did it. Some lasted a long time, some didn't. We all know that. Like Rebirth, the new 52, the after Crisis on... Uh, Infinite Earths, just to name a few. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe is that Marvel should reboot their comics. And here's why. Number one, you have several different origins for s- the same character. So, like, Captain Marvel has, like, five different origins. They just literally, literally recently redid it by saying this is the new defining origin. That was the issue number one origin. <laughs> They can't help it if you They've, uh, <laughs> it's just, they retold so many people's origin stories because they don't know which one is, which one's going to fit, or we don't see if this character works or not, or like that. They just redid Ironheart's uh, whole origin, even though her first one was really good. Yeah. And then they just redid it out of nowhere, and then gave her an AI out of nowhere when it was a struggle for her the first, and, <laughs> like, everything made sense. So, the way, and then every time they get a big event, they kind of, like, halfway reboot it. So, like, after Civil War 2, that's when Riri came. She got a new AI. It was working fine. And then Secret Empire went, and then they did this legacy thing. Then all of a sudden, now she has a new origin story, which is nowhere near as good, and it doesn't make sense whatever what else is going on. The rest, like, it just, everybody is, like, literally, Marvel Comics is, like, the DCEU. We just hear a good idea. We just going to roll with it. It's like, let's try something. It was like, this, this idea didn't work. Let's try this one. This one isn't catching. Let well, Captain Marvel, a whole lot of her past stories and didn't catch. So they had, and every actor, it was like Guardians of the Galaxy. Every time, it was exactly like Guardians of the Galaxy. Every time a new, a new writer got Guardians of the Galaxy, they changed everything. That's exactly what they did with Captain Marvel. If you go back and look at her past Every time she got a new writer, they completely changed it. Yep. Her character was even a completely different character when she was with the X-Men. Yep. I was like, what is this? Yeah. Like, she has the most rockiest of backstories between her and the Guardians. Their stuff is all over the place. So they're constantly going. Through, there's characters out there. I don't mm-hmm. think they should do a hard reboot because they saw that stuff wasn't fully accepted by people and they decided to make changes along the way. They did that with Guardians because of the movie, and they figured out, you know what, they need some sort of, like, unity. There needs to be some sort of everything is works like this. And they did it, and they just, you know, here it is, boom. So with some characters, they got to. Cap Marvel, they shouldn't have, because they had her, I think they had her, like, right there where they need, where they should have had her. Riri, she's still fresh and new. They can flip. They can change her as they go. See, that's this is the problem I have. You want new readers to come to your books, right? You want that's the that is the number one goal for any business selling anything or having any kind of service. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. want new people. You need fresh customers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what A hard reboot gives you fresh customers because then they they don't have to go back. All right, well. You didn't go to the comic book store. Well, yeah, this is a real number one, but this one doesn't really count anymore because this writer came and did this. And that one really doesn't count anymore because this writer came and did that. They did this, they they did it with uh, Ultimate Marvel. That was just a whole other universe. Anybody wanted to ca- could be a new reader wants to come up and read uh, something and not be lost with everything else that happened before. They read Ultimate Marvel and that was it. That is your example. If you reboot and you know what works, then, like you can know what works for Ruby Williams. You can know what works 
for Captain Marvel. You know what works for the Guardians and some of your other characters that keep going back. The X Men, my gosh, just one of the joints where every time there's something new. Like a lot of people don't know that Kitty was already dating Colossus and then left and then came back, and you, everybody's like, "Oh yeah, well they they touch it on this." And I remember that when I was a kid. That's fine. A 12-year-old right now that wants to get in the comics that doesn't know what's going on. And they're lost. And it's not like they got the money or funds to go buy a bunch of comics that may be way overpriced for them because they're good, could be really classic comics. And caught up. If you start over now and still respect what happened in the past, like similar to like what Rebirth did. Rebirth started anew, but it respected the past and gave you like little tits, hippers in there for people who really can, who really know the comics, you got to jump in sales, people stay with it, until, you know, y'all start making all these other wild changes and then y'all lost. If you stay with it, it's fine. If you <laughs> if you let other people change your, uh, change your ideas and mm-hmm. get all these voices in your head, then, you know, that's when stuff gets out of hand. Right, right. But if you get a Kevin Feige kind of, like, figure in here, head, like, this is what's going to happen, you're fine. If you do that, like Rebirth was starting to do up until it stopped being Rebirth, just said DC Universe, you're perfectly fine. It's funny because you say that because uh, like most industries, they all want new, um, they want new customers and stuff and everything. And new I, customers, when you said money. that, all I could think about was uh, the phone industry and how cell phone industries always have the best deals for new customers and everything. But they always alien. The problem with that is, like, the biggest issue with in the comic industry is you have such long time, uh, you it kind of alienate your long time customers and your fan base by by changing stuff, and they don't like that. They yeah, don't like, like comic book comic comic book readers. <laughs> comic book readers don't like change. Fickle. They hate change, yo. When they've been reading a story for five years or whatever the case may be. They hate for you to all of a sudden change it. They'd be like, oh my God, I put all of this into it and all, and I've been a fan for this long. How dare you disrespect me like that? And they take it real personal. But so. again, there is a way you can do that. Yeah. Like, for instance, the New 52, a lot of people liked it, but the hardcore DC fans hated it because it changed everything yeah, they grew up on. It's mostly because they wanted to be the guy, they wanted to be that guy, like, I know what I'm talking about. Because I, I read the comments, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, and they don't yeah. want no new guy coming in. New guy in. coming in, talking all, oh, no. nobody wants that. Yeah. There's no Like, you had the job for a long time and some new guy comes in, like, oh, yeah, I'm doing it this way and that way. You're like, no, that doesn't work. Like, yeah, it works now. You, you got to get with the time. Yep, that's oh, Comic oh, book God. fans oh, hate God. that position. But if you do it like the Rebirth did. This is the new system. This is the new system. Well, I'm saying, like, 52 is like the, DC is the perfect example. One, because they don't the only want to actually do reboots, so they, they went through it all. When they read the Crisis on Infinite Earth, it was fine. Because they started new stories with new characters, but it, it was a trickle-down effect. So new new fans were able to come and read, like, okay, Wally West is Flash. Okay, I'm reading Wally West. He's the Flash now. I'm not too sure about Barry Allen. I just know from this new number one, Wally West is the Flash. Yeah, see, the fan base was smaller back then. Yeah, I, I get that. Thing. But then when the new 52 happened, right, they rechanged changed everything. They made Wally West a black guy, a black kid, and they uh, they made a bunch of other, unnecessary like uh, Wonder Woman and Superman were dating and, and got, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and they got a whole lot of kickback on that. Yeah, and and then, whole, whole, I'm working through this. That's when every, your new fans loved it, but the old fans like we just said, we're heated. Yeah. Then they saw that, so they rebirthed it. They gave you the rebirth where they respected the old, brought some of the old back, but kept it new. So the new fans that they had and got were also new fans that they got from Fifty Two and new fans they were gonna get from Rebirth wouldn't be lost. There's a there's a balance. But see, the thing about that is that's when I jump in and I always say, why don't you guys just create a new character because that was the uh, that's the good thing the one time they actually did that right was like with um aquaman for instance i'm not aquaman aqualad for instance they had an aqualad and then they all of a sudden created another one i remember calderon at first calderon was aqualad folks hated it then they were like just instead of just being like we're going to keep him as aqualad and everything and like the Wally West, the Black yeah. Wally West. Instead of doing that, they was like they changed it. It was like, no, he's no longer Aqualad. He's Calderon now, and he became Calderon, and he became his own character. Had Young Justice and everything else like that, and it worked out great. Like my thing is, 
just make new characters that just happen to have like some of the similar powers or similar attributes and all that and everything. Just do that. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not necessarily about that. It's about being lost from different, so many different stories that don't coincide with each other. Like if you go back and read an X Men story from one issue number one to another storyline, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read from right here, okay? And there's a reference to something I didn't read. I don't know what's going on, and because it's going back, you know, how, like writers like to see go I, back. But I love going. You to, love that. I love going I'm to about, the comic book store and being like, yo. I read this comic. It said this right here, this issue. Most of the times, like comic book store we go to, those people up there are stupid knowledgeable. Like yeah, they I'm not know. denying that. So I'm without you about... having to read it, they can tell you everything off the job. Right, but it's not like it's a comic book store. It's not like comic book stores at Seven Eleven, where it's you can just go around the corner, drive for like five minutes, yeah. and then you can go and read. About it. You have to for people like for us, we have to drive to at least a 25, 30 minute drive. Well, see, that's the other good thing. And that's just for... No, 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 no. My, uh, the, my, to, to answer that, write down everything like you're supposed to do when you go to a comic store. You're supposed to have all the comics you want written down so you don't go in there and just start buying any old kind of thing unless you're like brand new, new, and then you just take suggestions. But once you already get established with certain comic books mm -hmm. and then something pops up in a comic book that you're currently reading where it says, yeah, previously this came from... This issue is brought upon because of the previous, uh, what happened in this issue right here. You could just write that down and be like, all right, let me ask about this when I go to the comic book store. So then when you go to the comic book store, you, yes, you but got not every comic book has that. Because sometimes it's not, even like, a, like a lot of times comics. Internet, then. Yeah, but see, again, that's too much work for somebody who just wanted to read. I'm talking about, you're thinking about what you want as a comic book fan. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm not talking about regular People, I'm not talking about avid comic book readers. I'm not talking about them. Those are your base. That's your base core. You know they're going to come for whatever. Just like we go read, uh, like we're avid comic book uh, but I movie thought, writers. I thought I'm that happens about, with everything, though. No, Just it like in game, just like, just like for instance, when we watch, uh, when uh, when people come ask us about the Avengers or any of the Marvel movie, MCU movies, they'd be like, yeah. Uh, like when Age of Ultra came out and everything, they was like, they was talking about, I keep hearing about all this stuff about Wakanda and everything else, and they're supposed to be a Black Panther because they mentioned them in a previous movie. They sure did. You could come to you. People will ask questions. Right. They will ask questions, but they only ask, they only ask questions to people they, they actually could trust. For instance, you know, because we, when we go to work, people bombard us with questions all the time. Right? Yeah. Right. But they don't actually go watch our YouTube channel. Because they, they go, know they have access to right. us. But so if, they did, that, in, if they didn't have access, then they would use the internet. But they do have we, access. Hold up. But before they had access, because before they had access to us, when they would watch other stuff like X-Men like that, they still weren't going on the internet to look. They were just, all right, well, I have it here. Fine. Okay, you got a point there. Okay, fine. Okay. I kind of, I'm, I'm the kind of guy, if I, I'll read something and it says, go, it says, it gives me the issue number and it gives me a comic. I'm going to look that up. I mean, even... And there's like, like I use Comic Vine, for instance. They give you information out the yin yang. See, this that's the thing. You're a com you're a person who reads something and they wants to go back. We're talking about a person who's like, all right, I want to start. For instance, I want to start on Spider Man, right? Mm -hmm. I am reading Spider Man. Okay, there's a black Spider Man. Where did he come from? They didn't tell you. It's just he'll just be showing up in in the comic. Right? Yeah, he'll just show. They're not telling you an issue where he came from. Like, okay, there's a black Spider. -Man. Okay, yeah. then now there's Spider Gwen. And then there's also a Spider Woman. Okay, there's another Spider Man with the hoodie on. Where did he come from? Now you got all the Spider Man, and you don't know where they came from. And now, if you go back to the comic book store, exciting. Yeah, now they, that's for you. Regular people are like, I just not what I. It's not what I bargained for. Yeah, yeah. But see, here's the thing. It's it comes down to whether or not your curiosity asks you, do you want to know who these other people are, or, or do you don't want to know who they are? Because if they're important to the story, if they're not going to stay in that Spider-Man story continuously. They'll be there for like a pop-up. Like many, like lots of crossovers or many of people come help out and pop up all the time. So that's going to happen nonetheless. So it's up to you to be like, uh, I want to know more or I don't Perfect know example. More. Perfect yeah. example. People who will go watch this uh, Arrowverse crossover shows. Not the actual show, the season itself, but just the crossover shows. So, for instance, they watch... Shame on them for just being like that then. Yeah, but there are people who do that. 
Really? Yes, there are people who do that because I just want to see them. Smack them then. Because I just want to see everybody together. Or, for instance, the what? people who only watch Endgame and didn't watch any other movies before they that. They don't care. That is the... Those but those, those, those are, are the, the same... bandwagoners. Those are the same people who were like, all right, I want to go... Everybody's talking about this comic. I'm going to go read this and don't know what's going on. This is your opportunity. If they come into a big story, right? Let's say Marvel does a really big story where it includes everybody in all the Marvel comics. War of the Realms? No, this is, I'm talking about bigger than that. I'm talking about like Crisis on Infinite Earths kind of big. War of the Realms? Yeah, I'm talking... Just let me finish. They do a big story... That after all of that done, everything starts at issue one for every character after that. Okay. So then, um, So everybody... But you still respect stuff that happened before. Because you got a big story. You only reference the big story. And then that big story, everything starts from that over. And you have new comic book readers. So you could do a Captain America again. and Because, you know, mm-hmm. Captain America, he gets frozen for 70 years. That puts him in our time. And another 30 years from now, he gets frozen for 70 years. They only puts him back in our time. Because it still happened in World War Two, Or was it one? Two. Two, yeah. World War Two. All right. Me in particular, I'm not a fan of reboots. I don't think they should do it. He so makes valid like, points of why there should be reboots and everything. Because, you know, these individual changes on comics and stuff is just, you know. It's hard to keep up with. Especially if you don't even know what's coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that that might be an issue. So, um, in the comments section, um, are you for reboots? Are you against reboots, especially when it comes to comic books? Uh, let us know in the comments section. Um, are there any people that you uh, particularly <laughs> did not like anything getting rebooted? Are there any people who you think definitely need a reboot? Let us know who definitely needs a reboot and who needs, like, something streamlined like they did with Guardians where they finally put it as a whole and got a story together. It was like, this is the unit. This is the main people. This is going to be their story from here on out. Let us know in the comment section. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you love what you see, hit that dang subscribe button and tell a friend. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications on our next video. Until next time, we out, people. Deuces. Yeah. 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 We in the club, we party. We in the club, we party. Yeah. Yeah. How much ice you got? I don't know. Get it all this man. I cannot mess like I am the ace. Electric keeps you didn't leave you with aftershock. Getting angry, then I turn an incredible hog. Bite and bog. Chop it down like you one of them stars.